Okay, we're going to demonstrate how to set up uh, an underwater seal drain. Um, so often when the doctor is inserting a chest um, drain, we'll have be setting up the bottle. So this is the way your underwater seal drain looks like. Um, it has numbers, as you can see, going up and down the columns here. What you need is sterile water because you want to add water in to this tubing here. So this will come with a little uh, button open and what you need to do is close that over. So that's in the closed position and I'm all ready to add my sterile water. So obviously you're going to check the date, check it's sterile water and you're going to add sterile water into the syringe. And you're going to add it in right up to the top of the little line there. It's approximately 45 mils. When you've that all added in, you're going to open up and let the water drain into the bottle. Down to the bottom here, there'll be a bit of a change of colour here. Once all the water is drained in, you're going to close that over and you're going to remove this. Okay. Now, we want to stabilise this. You can stabilise it by turning this round. That stabilises your bottle so it doesn't tip over. At the back, you've got your tubing. And this is the tubing that you want to be able to attach to your chest strain. But we need to add in another connector here that's called the Sal connector. And it comes in packaging like this. So you open this up and remove your Sal connector. Looks like this. So you've got a spigoted end here for your underwater seal drain. You pop that in here. You've got a clamp here that you can put on. You've got a sampling port so that you can remove some of the fluid from the chest and, and send that off. And then this part here will attach to your chest drain, to your thal chest drains, however only. So if you're using a pigtail chest drain, there's a slight difference. And I'm gonna demonstrate that now to you. So with your pigtail catheter, you're going to have a little spigoted end um, so what I need you to do is to cut the tubing, remove this part, and you're going to rotate the connector round and you're going to attach the connector here and pop the spigoted end here, so you can see it like that, and then that will attach to your pigtail uh, catheter that you've inserted in for your chest drain. Okay, so that's how all your connectors work. <coughs> Now we're going to go over and um, set it up with the baby. Very importantly, this underwater seal drain must be kept below the baby. So I'm going to wheel this over now and hand it over to the doctor. Okay, so now I'm going to hand this over to the doctor with the connector and it's clamped. And we're always going to keep this bottle below the baby. Okay, so now we're going to look at continuous suction. So if we're going to place um, the baby on continuous suction, what we need to do is add some sterile water into our bottle. So how we do that is making sure this is closed. We're going to open the white port at the top here. We open it up like so. We get our sterile water. We drain that into our bottle and what we're looking to go up to is the number 10. That's our magic number, no further than 10. When we've got the fluid in, we're going to seal that over, make sure it's sealed properly and let you hear it go click. Now what we're going to do is attach our suctioning. We attach our suctioning to this port here. So you put your suction pressure on and what you want to do is open this little connector very slightly um, until you start to see bubbling occurring here. So it doesn't need to be fully open, just open slightly until you see bubbling through the port or through the glass here. And that's how you set up for continuous suction.